What's popping you all? It's JJ++ here, and today guys we're going to be having a look at how to get personal vehicles on Kea Perico in GTA 5 Online. Before we begin, do note that this only works on the scope out mission and does not work on the heist finale. Anyway, traditionally on Kea Perico you can only access the standard off-roading vehicles that spawn there, but today I'm going to be showing you a glitch that allows you to get any personal vehicle on Kea Perico. This glitch is very simple and all it requires is an office, the Kazakka to start the heist, and of course the vehicle that you want to use. Anyway guys, let's get on with the video. So the first thing you want to do is spawn in your personal vehicle in free mode. Once you've done that, you'll need to get it impounded. You can do that just by shooting some random people and letting the police shoot you on sight. And now your personal vehicle has been impounded, you can head over to your Kasatka, access the planning screen and start the scope out mission. Make sure to be a CEO for this rather than a motorcycle president. In the mission you need to go to the location it tells you and claim the VLAM for yourself by any means necessary. Once you've stolen the VLAM, just make your way over to Keo Perico as normal. But before you reach the point on the map, you'll need to call your assistant and bring up the option to recover your personal vehicle. Don't click it yet, just have it up. Now what you have to do is as soon as the sound is made for you reaching Keo Perico, click the option to recover the vehicle. You have to do this quickly or it will not work. Follow as I do here. And if you've done that right, the cutscene should play as normal. But once it's finished, you'll immediately notice that your vehicle is here waiting for you. Sadly, if you're caught by the guards while in the vehicle, there's basically no way of getting it back as it will stay where you left it and it won't be on the map. Any vehicles with weapons, sorry, but you can't use those weapons. This glitch also has a large time save when speedrunning the Cape Rico heist. This glitch is possible with the Oppressor Mark II, which allows you to get to the communications tower much faster. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for the video, but before I go, I'm going to give you a quick little montage of all the things I've done with my personal vehicles while on Keo Perico. Other than that, that's pretty much it, so goodbye to you all and I hope you enjoyed.